Hey guys, well, <laughs> it's a little chilly today. It's about one below zero, and uh, there's a little bit of a wind, so I'm rocking the scarf today that the wife made me. Anyway, today I want to do a video on horse hoof fungus. I've gotten into several discussions on Facebook about horse hoof fungus, and not everybody is in agreement. 100% as to what it looks like and just with this with funguses and plants and stuff that just there seems to be a lot of opinions out there um, This is my opinion that this is what I'm finding because of the research that I've done confirms this But I don't have someone in my area that can 100% tell me that this is what it is I'm 99% sure this is what it is because of all the research I've done like I said for me, I don't care 100% because I'm not using it for anything but fire. If I was going to be making a tea or whatever it is else you do with this stuff, I would want to be 100% sure that this is totally what I'm using. So if you, you know, whatever. Just having said that, I'm 99% sure this is horse hoof fungus. And for me, the benefit of it is, is that it will take an ember for fire. And I don't always have to find chaga. One thing about this too that I've been doing some re or, uh, actual um, experimenting with or whatever is it will take a, a spark from a ferro rod even when it's wet. It's not a, it doesn't work very good, but you can get it to work. So let me reset up the camera and we'll go find some here real quick. Okay, guys, this is this is it. Now you're pr I'm probably gonna mess up and I'm probably gonna say horseshoe fungus or horse hoof fungus or whatever. It's horse hoof fungus, I'm, but you know. Anyway, this tree is covered with it and these are some really old rotten ones. Uh, I'm gonna see how these work. It's a nice one there. So if I can find it already dried out, which I very rarely do with chaga, that's a benefit for me. So here it is right here. Let's go find some live ones. Okay, here's some growing on a tree that's live. Okay. It's all up that tree there. Now I've only found it on birch trees myself. I've, look at how much is all over that tree up there. I've seen some other similar, similar looking fungus on oak trees and even once in a while on aspen trees. But for me, they do not work at all basically for fire unless maybe you charred it or something. And guys, when I learn this stuff, I'm looking for the rule rather than the exception. In other words, I've heard a couple of people tell me that that green chaga or chaga that you just take off a tree will take a spark. I'm not gonna say that's incorrect. What I'm gonna say is, is that is the exception, in my opinion, rather than the rule. I've got chaga to take a solar ember right off the tree, but it was a very difficult experience. It wasn't something that, it wasn't real easy. And as far as flint and steel or ferro rod, I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm just saying that's the exception rather than the rule. All right, let's take a couple of these and see what we can do with them. Okay, so I took that dried one or the, obviously the dead one, whatever. And all I did is saw it in half and I've collected the dust here. Now there's some birch bark shavings and stuff like that in there, but that's okay. Let's take it out to the sun. We got a nice sunny day. Let's see what a magnifying glass does with this. So whether that ember keeps going or not, I'm not gonna feed it oxygen. I'm just gonna let it sit there and smolder. But I could be working this ember pretty good, you know, feeding it oxygen. So, I mean, it's still going, which is great. The wind's keeping it going. But right off the tree, you know, yeah, sure, it's dead, but it's hard to find chaga like that. 
usually chaga when it's like that it's all super rotten and brittly and uh, brittle you know so anyway right off the tree very little processing required that happened pretty quick too and I'm actually it probably looks bright to you but I'm in the woods so a lot of the trees are taken away from the sunlight you go out in the open in a field or something and this would happen even faster All right, let's try the, the green, so to speak, stuff. Okay, well here's the green one, or fresh one, whatever you want to call it, that I cut up. And if you look closely along the top edge here, you'll see a different color. There's, a, there's another layer very at the very top there. Now these folks that I've been doing this research on or whatever, the research I've been doing, people call that amadou, I think that's how you pronounce it. And they say, you know, that's supposed to be the best tinder, you know, whatever. And that's fine, that's, that's good. I need to maybe do some more research, but if I have the entire fungus and I'm able to just saw it all together and make a fire from it. I don't really care. I don't really care what this stuff is, this amadou or whatever, you know, unless there's some sort of health benefits or something like that. And I'd have to do quite a bit more research on that. But, you know, basically the stuff I was reading just says it's real good fire starter. And these small ones don't have that much on it. But, like I said, I can take this whole thing and use it. It doesn't matter to me with it, you know, whatever. Anyway. We just sawed it up. Let's see if this stuff will take an ember. Um, green, same way, solar. I have to look, work a little harder on this ember, I think, from what I've experienced. It seems to be taking off pretty good now, but that's green right straight off the tree. It'll take a ferro rod spark like this. you got to work at the ember, like I said. I haven't tried green flint and steel. I've tried dry flint and steel. Works pretty good. So there you go. I mean, I love chaga, but this stuff, I can find this stuff a lot more readily on my birch trees than I can chaga. And I can use it right away. All right, I just walked away from this ember just for a, like a minute and it's gone out. So green, you know, you really, I keep calling it green. It just means fresh right off the tree. You need to feed it oxygen for it to work for you. Anyway, guys, hope you see behind me. That's the clothed and confident shelter I built. I want to say that was almost seven months ago or something. Still holding strong, no cordage, nothing like that. Anyway, all right, guys, I hope you like this video. Like I said, I think people are, are um, a little too hung up on the amadou or whatever part, unless they're using it for something else that I haven't seen. I mean, the whole, the whole shroom, <laughs> the whole fungus seems to work just fine for me. Hope you guys are staying warm. Like I said, one below this brisk wind. I bet you it's 15 below wind chill. It's chilly. All right, time for some hot chocolate. Take care, guys.